As a young climate activist who's been pouring my heart and soul into fighting climate change and fighting for climate policies over the past few years, it is heartbreaking seeing people continuing to ignore what's happening and especially seeing world leaders continuing to ignore and not just ignore it but actively take steps against the policies that we need. Addressing the climate crisis doesn't need to be a negative thing. So often politicians talk about it in terms of sacrifices we have to make and things we have to give up. I really hope this COP26 isn't just another year of empty promises. I hope it isn't another year of fossil fuel CEOs and government ministers getting together in a room and making a bunch of statements that no one's going to commit to. I think this year COP needs to lead to actual concrete action because the time for discussions and debates and panels about how bad the climate crisis is, that time is gone. The time for action and actually addressing the climate crisis is now. Build back better, blah, blah, blah. Green economy, blah, blah, blah. The next step is ending fossil fuel subsidies and ending permits and licenses, licensing for new fossil fuels. The UK government is approving a new oil field right now while still saying that they care about the climate crisis and hosting COP26. So I think that is sort of an immediate thing that can happen right now. The government can say no to the Cambo oil field. They can stop approving new oil drilling. And that's really important because their promises don't line up with their actions right now. And there is nothing that says, nothing in any of the science that says we can address climate change while still having more oil extraction. Not every single individual action needs to be about going vegan or to cycling to school or work. There are sort of political individual actions that people can take as well. A lot of the steps that people, can, that individuals can take to address the climate crisis aren't accessible to everyone. Not everyone has the option to walk to school or work. Not everyone has the option to go vegan. Not everyone has the option to buy expensive, eco-friendly products. So for me, I try to reserve my frustration and anger for the people who do have the power over these situations and do have the power over these decisions, which is the politicians, it's the fossil fuel executives and CEOs. Those are the people that I'm angry at. I'm not angry at the individuals who choose not to think about what is ultimately a really depressing issue.